Dr. Zahi Huas's 2019 expedition, Discoveries at the Valley of the Kings. Archaeological Paths presents a video summarizing Dr. Zahi Hawass's research and discoveries in 2019. For over 20 years, Dr. Hawass has been an indisputable authority and a living legend of Egyptology. He's been behind all of the most significant archaeological discoveries made over the past few decades. Currently, Dr. Hawass is carrying out large-scale excavations at the most valuable sites in Egypt, such as the Valley of the Kings, right there. On October 10, 2019, a remarkable event introduced Dr. Huwas's recent work in the east and the west of the Valley of the Kings, making headlines all around the world. Major discovery, first time to reveal many secrets we found, KV-65. The event on Dr. Zahi Huas' newest discoveries was organized by Archaeological Paths Travel Company and included a press conference attended by all invited guests, including renowned archaeologists, ambassadors, media, as well as the Minister of Antiquities and Tourism, Dr. Khaled Elanani, and the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, Dr. Mustafa Waziri. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellency Professor Zahi Hawass, Professor Khaled Alani, the Minister of Antiquities, dear guests, media from all over the world, our lovely tourist, who they came from all over the world, to attend this lovely moment. In the Valley of the Kings, we still have some royal tombs not discovered yet. Some of the most famous kings and queens, their tombs not discovered yet. Excavations done by Professor Zeh Hawass. They started recently here, and they are searching for what we call them, the lost royal tombs. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Big hand for my Professor Zeh Hawass. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working here in the West Valley since 2010 and 11. What we found until now, the most important discovery that we made was the discovery of the four foundation deposits. Near the four foundation deposits found graffiti and workman huts. Means there is a royal tomb in this area. We know, according to some scholars, that when the Egyptians construct a royal tomb, they make four or five foundation deposits. I came in 2017 and I invited a team from uh, Torino University and they use JPR, the most sophisticated radar ever found. And they gave Dr. Khaled Al Hanani a report saying that they found uh, an entrance to the tomb five meters down. Then when we did announce that, we came here in December 2017 started working until today. We found in this area for the first time the first industrial area in the valley. All what you discover in the Valley of the Kings are tombs of royal kings and also uh, workmen huts. But this is the first time that you discover the areas for the workmen who really worked for constructing a tomb. We found all the inlays that the ancient Egyptian put in a royal coffin. We found knives used for making a tomb or mummification. And also, we found other important things like the ring that has the name of Al-Hutub III and another silver ring for a queen. Means there is a royal tomb in this area around here. The second important discovery is this section, which is 30 big houses. Inside the houses, we found a workshop to clean and make gold. This is for the first time, actually, any workshop like this ever discovered. And finally, we found a tomb. When uh, Afifi found the entrance, he sent it to me. I compared it with Tutan Khamun. I came next day, and I found that this is an embalming cachet of a tomb. 
and we called it KV-65. Uh, KV-65, this is how it looks like, all the artifacts that we found. Inside KV-65, we found onion, linen, ropes, remains of uh, animals, we found remains of uh, mummification, tools for writing. This is actually is the first Egyptian expedition to work in the valley. Can you believe the 64 tools found in the East and the West Valley found by foreigners? Never an Egyptian team worked in this valley at all. We are really happy to be the first Egyptian expedition to work in the Valley of the Kings and made this discovery, but we continue our work. We are hoping to make a big major discovery. I still believe that the area between Amenhotep III and I could be the promising area to find the family of Amenhotep III. Ladies and gentlemen, now His Excellency the Minister of Antiquities is going to give a speech. The discoveries of Dr. Zahi today, I'm thanking him for sharing with us his ongoing excavation, surely add to our knowledge of uh, the area. The Valley of the Kings is a very promising area. We hope that one day we can find royal uh, tomb or private uh, tombs. Dr. Hawass is heading uh, four missions, We're working in four areas in the Valley of the Kings. With Dr. Hawass's ongoing excavations in four different locations in the valley, one of the sites already brings hope for a big discovery soon. The number four sites who they think is promising, it is located behind the tomb of Berim Bidan. Wonderful artifacts were found in the excavation. We believe there is a tomb in this area. So this area, it's a still very rich area. We are keeping a lot of secrets not revealed yet. And I hope that one day, the mission of Professor Zai Hawass can be able to discover one of the royal tombs in this valley. The event was organized by Archaeological Paths Travel Company, which continues to support research and excavations in Egypt, as well as Dr. Hawass's work in the Valley of the Kings. Today, I have to thank Archaeological Path for really sponsoring the announcement of the discovery of the uh, tombs and uh, artifacts in the West and the East Valley of the Kings. They helped us to sponsor and bring all the journalists to cover the most important discovery in the Valley of the Kings. I really think that the name of this company should be written in gold in history. Again, thanks to Archaeological Path. After this event, one thing is for certain, the future of Egyptology is full of even more fascinating discoveries, and the tour guests of archaeological paths will be a part of them. Don't miss a chance to unveil Egypt's secrets on exclusive tours personally led by Dr. Zahi Hawass. Visit archaeologicalpaths.com.